Hello guys, this is now with Reddy. So today we'll talk about uh, animations in C. So we'll we'll see some of the uh, header files in C so that we can draw, we can do some animation part in C programming. Now to do animation like we have, I have done here, I have made a chakri which is a spiral here. So what this spiral will, uh, how this code will work is, let me show, the, show you the output first. So when I run this code, uh, you can see uh, this is the animation you can make using C programming. Again, you can do lots of things, but this is the basic part. This is the, this is how uh, C graphics works. Okay, so let me show you a code how it works. Uh, now, now this is the code for that spiral. But again, uh, this might be this might be some. This might be difficult for you to understand, but uh, if I start with the start with start with the basics, it, it's damn easy. So let me just save this, uh, and we'll name this as anim. Uh, I mean animation, anim dot c. Now uh, to work with the C graphics, what you need is you first you need some header files. Uh, so we have to say include std io dot h and hash include conio dot dot h and the require a main function so public vo uh, sorry void main and then now now if i say printf here printf hello so let's suppose if i say printf hello and since we have to hold the screen so we'll say get ch also now I, I i'm sure you might be knowing c programming is because this video is for those people who know c programming so i'm not i will not explain what is how this printf and get ch works here so if i run this code now uh, you can see there is hello on the screen but this screen you are saying is a console screen this will not go for any graphics to get the graphic screen you have to use some graphic driver you have to use a graphic driver and you have to use a graphic mode now what I mean is, you require two variables gd and gm, you require two variables gd and gm and you have to first detect the graph, first you have to detect the driver for your graphics and then you have to initialize it. So for initialize we have to say init graph in which you have to pass two parameters, first one is gd which is graphic driver, second is gm as graphic mode and then this driver you have to fetch from a folder called as bgi. Now again why I am using this dot dot is because BGI folder is just beside your bin folder. So that's why you have to come out of the bin folder. That's why dot dot. And then uh, to specify the folder you have to give one slash. But the problem in C programming is one slash in C is just a, a special character. So to, you, have to spa you have to cancel that special meaning of that character. So that's why you have to use double slash. And then semicolon. Now I don't want to go for this printf. What I actually want is I want to draw that spiral. Now to draw a spiral, your C programming offers lots of functions. There are there are there are lots of functions, and all these graphical functions belongs to a header file called as graphics.h. So to to know what are the header files, uh, what are the functions you have, just right click on this graphics. You will see we have, we have lots of functions. We have arc, we have circle, we have bar. We have ellipse, so you, you can draw all those things. But now we have to focus on arc because we want to draw that spiral. Now to work with this arc, you have a, you have to go for some five parameters. First, you have to specify the center point, which is int x and int y. Then the starting angle, ending angle, because arc has angle, starting angle and ending angle. And then you have to mention the radius. Now to work with this, what we need is we have to go for arc. Function is arc. Uh, then I want a center point. Again, I don't know the center point of my screen, right? But still, I will try to guess. So we'll say 300, comma 300, and uh, we'll say starting angle is zero, ending angle is 90, and then we'll specify the radius, and radius will be 50. Now this is just a approximation. I don't know what the starting point of my screen or center point of my screen. So this is just a a, a random guess. Now let me run this code. I hope you will see some graphical things here. So if I run this code, yeah, I got a arc which starts with zero and the ending angle is 90. So you can see the the below part is zero and the upper part is 90. Now I, I cannot use my mouse in this screen because it's this 
this is a uh, turbo c console i cannot go for uh i cannot go for the mouse movement here so okay come back now now what we have what we want here is i want to put my arc in the center of the screen now i cannot guess the center of the screen like uh, see we can go for this trial error methods but i don't want to go for that what i will simply do is i will use a function called as get max x this will give me the maximum pixels i have on my x x axis then i have a function called as uh, get max y uh, get max y this will give me the maximum y pixels i have my on my y axis what if if i just say divide by 2 and divide by 2 it will give me the center point right so let's run this code uh, and yes we, we got an arc in the center of the screen right so with the help of get x get max x divided by 2 and get max y divided by 2 now what next we have to do here is uh, now now we have to we have to do some movement now when i say we have to do some movement obviously we have to write lots of codes so that it will it will look like it's moving see basically nothing moves right in computers world in animation world nothing moves it's just when we when we draw something with a particular delay we will see there is some animation right so what is animation is just different frames which are displayed in particular intervals so we will see some video there right so in this scenario what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just try to we'll just try to move but that will uh, that will do but that will see in the next part of the video because this is the lengthy code so uh, for till that do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much